What up, though? Part two. On a trip to a county jail. You feel me? Part two. So, I thought I finally get out of quarantine. They get me down to a rock. Where I can, just two man per cells. You have a little privacy, sleep, your own toilet. You ain't sharing that motherfucker with six motherfuckers. You know, so we go straight to the motherfucking uh, rock. Give me a place. Southeast. I forgot the numbers of the motherfucker. We were southeast. So they got me in a rock. Go through the door. And I'm mad as hell by now. Because my lawyer, he ain't came and sent me the two days I was in quarantine. They seemed like they spent me like, what, two days. Maybe the third day I was getting sitting on the rock. And they was back on my last name. So, um... I'm in that motherfucker and I'm mad as hell because it's like something that was preventable. If I wasn't pissed off and thinking with anger, I wouldn't even been in that motherfucker. That's why I can't no motherfucker trick, trick me out my freedom. You feel me? Like, it's for real. But going back to the situation. So um, I'm in a rock, get a spot, sit down in that motherfucking room. I'm sick. Like I got all type of shit on properties and I'm sitting in this motherfucking box. You know what I'm saying? So I finally come out, sit on the table, and population inside my rock. Weirdos looking at me, all type of shit. Couple of dudes come to me and said, my man, don't you rap? Fuck, don't you be with the mercenary killers? And he saw the, the tats and shit on me, like, MK. He like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that is him. You such and such, I don't know your name, but. And I got to talk, like, yeah, like, man, I, this, this ain't even the motherfucking place I want to meet your motherfucking fan at. Like, for real. So, nigga got to rapping my song and shit. Kind of cheered me up. I got off my motherfucker, feeling down ass shit. Like, I'm about to be about this bitch. If I had bond, I would, if they would, didn't have a capes on me, I would have fucking been out. So now I'm just gonna wait till my lawyer get that shit off and find out what it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, we sitting, kicking, talking about what I'm doing. The door's open. Depp come in, let the trustee in with the food. He come in with the wagon. The Depp is like four stations down there on the southeast, and that one Depp was working all four stations. So he letting the other trustees in on the other side to take the food in because there's two trustees to work to both sides. The one trustee come in, it was a little short dude. It's my first day in that bitch. He comes straight in that bitch and go to a room. With the door open at, he goes straight to the room with the door and looked and said, where old boy at in his room? The niggas playing cards pointed at the last room. He went to the last room and said, where my motherfucking shit at? The nigga came out the room. Like, dog, what you going to my room for? Then the little dude just bombed on him. Boom, boom, boom. He jumped on his head with two feet. I'm talking about like a Bruce Lee movie. What the? I'm talking about he jumped high as hell with two feet on his head twice. Ran there. This is the trustees that's giving the trade food trades. Go ask everybody where his room was at. The same old dude pointed down the way. He went to the room, came out with some pictures and said, this nigga used to be my bunkie on the other side. This nigga stole my mail and been writing my woman. Then got the trays and walked out. Old boy, his whole teeth right here just split hanging off like this this whole side of his gums was hanging off the whole teeth and everything like one one big chunk he go to the death booths and slid all that blood to the chains like I need to go to the mag they ain't know what the fuck happened cause my man came in that bitch and done that shit less than a minute fucked him up less than one motherfucking minute 
little short, stocky dude came and rocked him. Other dude was pretty big too. He wasn't a little nigga. So um, I'm like, oh yeah, it's going down in this motherfucker. It's upstairs, niggas trying to rank motherfuckers in quarantine. Down here, as soon as I could sit on the table, nigga, trustee with orange suit coming out, bitching. Bruce Lee, a nigga, and that bitch so motherfucking fast. You know? So I'm all like, um, he Michael J, that motherfucker, like, quick. So, uh, came out. I'm like, damn, you know how inmates crowd around that situation and stop. So, Later on that night, these other two guys got to arguing about cars. When I was sitting at my bunk right here, my room right here, and I was sitting on the table that was right outside my room. So my door right here, and this is the table. But the table was turned like this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting outside on the table waiting for my motherfucking lawyer. I waited. I looked at that motherfucking guard booth so motherfucking much. Like, nigga, just looking at that motherfucker like... This motherfucker ain't gonna come yet. I'm in that bitch about three days, four days now. Still ain't heard from my motherfucking lawyer. Paid. Got a cold lawyer. So, um, the two dudes arguing with the cards. One dude come behind me, stand on the table, and go up inside the metal slits and the walls, the stabilizer beams, and the rocks. How they got the little split on the wall. And came on that bitch with a razor. Then went in his room and came out with a motherfucking small toothbrush, and that bitch had the handle where that bitch can just drop inside that motherfucker. And he wrapped that bitch up right in front of me at the table where I was at. and went back over there and stood by the nigga that was playing cards. And like clockwork, trustee came in. Then brought the food out. We lined up to get the trays. As soon as my man grabbed his tray, he like, my man, that's my tray. You lost that bet. And I knew what he had, because he, when he got that blade, them niggas wasn't even peeping that shit. And old boy said, like, dog, I can give you the next one, man. I ain't ace or so He like, my man, that's my motherfucking tray. You lost the bet. And the dude sit there for a minute with the tray, looking around like he want to try it. And he didn't. Cause I was like, oh, he about to slit your shit. He about to buck 50 your shit, nigga. He about to get lit up in this motherfucker. And um, he gave him that tray. And oh boy, that knife, you can see the, the exhale, like, I'm glad you didn't make me do this to you cause I was go do it, nigga. So um, we sitting down chilling. Eating, smashing some food. Old boy with the blade, you know, went to the room with his shit. Both trays dipped off to his room. Another nigga that was always cracking jokes with them at the table, playing cards, said something to the dude who didn't have no food. He went in his room and got some commissary shit and brought on the table. So a tuna fish. Little shit like that. Open that shit up as chips. Start eating the nigga who was the comedian nigga. Start laughing at the nigga. Like, damn nigga, on the best night, we got gravy, such and such, all this shit. And man, my man teed off and just bombed on that nigga so motherfucking hard. When I saw that nigga eye socket right here, get knocked off to right here, that you can really see his shit was right here because the eyeball was in the back of his shit. In the county jail, nigga. That was the motherfucker. First day on the rock. 